Hi scholars, today I'm going to read you a book called The End of the Rainbow by Lisa Donnelly. You might remember we talked a little bit about rainbows in science and we learned how they are made. This book is a fiction book, which means it is fake. So we're not going to learn how rainbows are made in this book, but it's going to tell us a story about one. Let's read to find out what happens. The End of the Rainbow I love the rain. <gasps> wow, a rainbow! What do you think is at the end? Let's go see. What does she think is at the end of the rainbow? What is she thinking? What is her kitty thinking? <gasps> Look! A rabbit! We are going to the end of the rainbow. Do you want to come? <gasps> Look! A bird! We are going to the end of the rainbow. Do you want to come? What is the bird imagining is at the end? Here they all go. Hi, turtle. We are going to the end of the rainbow. Do you want to come? See how they all have a different idea about what's going to be at the end? Interesting. Hello, horse. We are going to the end of the rainbow. Do you want to come? I can't wait to get there. <gasps> it's gone. Hmm. What do you think happened to the rainbow? Maybe the sun came out? And maybe that had something to do with it? Remember what we learned in science? They don't last very long. That's okay. We didn't find the end of the rainbow. But we found something better. What did they find that was better than the end of the rainbow? Found a whole bunch of new friends, right? We found new friends! And there they all happily go. The end. So what do you think was their main goal for getting to the end of the rainbow? What did they want to do or find? The girl seemed like she wanted to find a bear at the end of the rainbow. Remember she thought that's what was going to be at the end? The cat wanted the fish. The bird wanted the bird bath. The horse wanted an apple. What other animals do you remember seeing? If you were this girl and you saw a rainbow, what would you hope was at the end of it? Think about that and tell a buddy. I think if I was Miss Abbott, which I am, and I was in that girl's position, I saw a rainbow and I decided to go to the end, I think I would hope there were a bunch of cats at the end because, you know, cats are my favorite animal. So think about what you would do if you were the character and make some text-to-self connections. That means you're connecting what happened in the book to your real life. Alrighty, I'll see you next time for our next Read Aloud. Remember to follow your dreams wherever they lead you.